hello to all my lively ladies you're very welcome back my name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel so today we're going to do a 25 minute easy and effective low impact cardio workout so if you're ready join in with me here now and we'll get ourselves nice and warm and get ready for our workout so I have approximately four or five minute warm-up first and then we'll get into the exercises and have two rounds we'll be working for an interval of 55 seconds with just a five second transition to get into the next move so we'll get ourselves warmed up first so i'm just going forward and back here and i'm moving my elbows by my waist okay so i'm keeping them nice and tight and tucked in all right so just forward and back good so we have 10 moves here, repeated twice, making it a 20 minute workout and then around a four to five minute warm up and then we'll do some cool down moves at the end. Okay, let's do two more here. Good. And last one, now just find a spot and then we'll just take the knees out to the side. Okay, so lifting and lifting, good. Now, if you're ready, we'll bring in some arms. So pushing the arms up towards the ceiling, sort of like in a W shape. And this is gonna bring the heart rate up a little bit more for us. Get us warm quicker. Get some heat into your muscles, your ligaments, your joints, lubricate those joints. Good. Now really, really lift those arms. Reach for the ceiling for me there. That's it. Good work. Pull them right down to your waist. Let's do 10 more with the arms. Keep those legs moving. That's it. Five, four, three, Two, keep the legs moving and lift up. Keep your spine now nice and straight. Don't be tempted to lean forward at your waist. So nice straight spine. If these legs are too high, just go down lower. Okay, we're gonna change up the legs now. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's march it out. Good, and again, get those arms by your side and we'll just move across the room. That's it. You don't have to go too far. If, you don't, if your space is limited, just go back and forth a little bit. I know some people work out literally on a mat space, but that's good. You can still get a good workout in, even in a small amount of space. That's it, good. Keep going. Well done. Now let's hold it here, and we're just going to tap out the floor with our toes and shrug our shoulders, okay? Round, try and draw a circle with your shoulder. This will be probably only one, one of very few times I'll tell you to bring your shoulder up to your earlobe. Otherwise, we should keep them away from each other to avoid tension. So around we go, that's it. Circle and circle, circle and circle. 10, nine, eight. We're gonna keep the legs doing the same thing, but we're gonna draw big circles now with the arms. So four, three, two, and one, and around you go. Now, if you don't have this shoulder mobility, just draw a smaller circle. So down, lower. Down here is fine. Just do whatever you can do. Okay, this is a great stretch for your torso. Really feel the tummy muscles stretching out. And some of the muscles there along your waistline and your back. It's lovely, it's a lovely stretch. That's it. Now, can we go the other way? So rotate the arms, keep the legs going. That's a big circle with the arm. Good, rotate around. Whew. Getting the heart rate up now, right from the start. Well done. Good, and five, four, keep the legs going. Three, two, one, just tap out those legs for four, three, two, and take it back into a basic march. You know, at any time during the workout, you're feeling tired or you're just getting a bit confused with the move, just take it back to a basic march here rather than stopping altogether. All right, let's rainbow those legs. Do you know this one? Now, if these legs are too high, if the waist level is too high for you, bring it down. Bring it down nice and low. Hold on to a piece of furniture. So if you have a chair handy, go to, or go to your wall if you haven't got a chair. Good. Anything that is sturdy will do fine. And draw a nice big circle for me. Now, do you feel your groin stretching out here? Yeah, it's a nice dynamic stretch for the inner thighs here. That's it. Really, really wake them up there. 
Good. We have a few side lunges coming up in the workout, so I always like to warm up those groin muscles or inner thigh muscles just before we start. That's it. Good. And just do four, three, back to basic march, two and one. Now just march it out, but bring it to the side because we're going to go laterally. So over we go, over to the side. That's it. Bring it back all the way over and bring it back to the middle now i want to get want you to go forward and back do that one more time forward and back now take it to the side again and right over to the other side now again if you're only a small space just use whatever space you have there now forward and back hold it here crisscross the arms that's it crisscross let's open up the chest a little bit wake up the shoulders again if you haven't got that mobility down low will do fine little legs will do if you can go faster now with the legs take up the pace a little bit try and bring up the pace of the legs with the pace of the arms good now let's leave out the arms okay so rest the arms on your hips 10 more with the legs and then we're going to do some alternating side lunges so side to side okay four three two and one so over and now i'm keeping them quite small just for the warm-up or if this is all you can do that's fine you work with that okay chest is up nice and high good nice tall spine good if you find you're dipping a little bit at the waist you can always use your fingers under your chin and they're not there to push your head back we don't want that they're there just to keep your chest upright it's just a little cue to remind you not to look at the floor okay good nice long back for me nice long spine that's it let's do four three we take this into leg swings two and one now you may need to hold on to something here watch that you're not going to kick anything behind you good that's it swing now what we're doing here we're warming up the hamstrings the back of your thigh getting some hip flexor action going that's it good kick and back kick and back first few minutes worker can always feel that little bit hard like that it's, it's it's challenging the first few minutes and then your nervous system sort of wakes up your body wakes up too good now let's switch legs no obstacles in the way make sure there's no pets or anything around you <laughs> give them a rude awakening if they're asleep kick and back kick and back don't worry if your legs not coming up too high down here's fine that's it kick and back lift and kick you might be able to get a bit higher as you go through the the exercise the reps as your body loosens out good two more last one now take it back to the middle of the room i'm just going to do a few mini squats i love squatting in a warm-up because it's a great exercise again to open up the groin area that hips it's kind of uh, ballistically stretching out the hip area squeeze your glutes on the way up your wake up your sleepy glutes that's it you sort of encourage your body to keep the chest high throughout the whole workout okay so we start from the warm-up and we keep that chest high so look forward again use your fingers under your chin if you find you're bending too much at the waist your back should be straight keep it straight and solid press the weight into your feet as well yeah your heels good two more and last one okay now i'm going to get you to start off take it into a, a light march so your heart rate doesn't plummet on me want to keep it up okay first move i'll just show you keep going with the march get the legs going first it's just a step back so just stepping back and then we're going to bring the arms to either side of the body i'm going to hit the timer keep going with your marching and we get going together okay five seconds to go all right let's do the legs first okay so that we're not getting all in a muddle so step back step back just step back you can actually step them back behind you if you want them or you can step them back like this either way whatever you like now bring in the arms that's it good 
So we're sweeping the arms down either side of the body. We're keeping our heel up. So we're not in, um, putting pressure on that Achilles tendon. You can bring them right up over your head. That'll really increase your heart rate for you. That's it, good. And the next move I'm going to do is a forward lunge. We're going to stay on one leg and we'll do the other leg for move three. I'm going to add a shoulder press as well. Now I know you might say, oh gosh, lunges. I can't do lunges. I'll show you a modified version. Okay, I'll do that first. Get ready. So you're going forward, modified version. I'll go at the side here, forward and back. Then you can add your shoulder press. So a nice little step forward. Working those leg muscles, your glutes as well, your bum muscle. Now, if you want to go deeper, go ahead. And also, if you want to add a pair of dumbbells, light dumbbells here, that'll really bring up that heart rate for you. Just stick on one leg, we'll change legs. Next exercise. Lift, and up, and back. Back, good. Reach up, back. Now this will challenge your balance a little bit and if you find you're falling too much all you do have to do is just leave the arms out and hold on to something okay reach forward pull back good okay now let's get ready keep your heart rate up by keeping a basic march going there now other leg so forward and back nice little move there now shoulder press shoulders reach up reach up that's it and then you can go a bit deeper if you want to with the legs and come back now do you remember those step backs we've got those coming up again for the next move and we're going to do some back flies with them this time okay so we're going to be working our posture muscles next now keep going i know you might be feeling a little bit of an ache in the shoulders at this stage i know i am but I know the next move is completely different. It's going to be working more the posture muscles. So they will get a rest. Good. Reach up. Pull down. Can you get a bit deeper with your legs? Don't worry if you can't. Just do whatever you can. Okay. Now let's get ready for those back step backs. So step back. Again, I'm just going to step the legs back behind me. You can cross the legs if you want. Now, flies. Up, up, up. Now squeeze your posture muscles there. The ones that lie between your shoulder blades that keep you, the spine upright. That's it, good. And it, now lift, lift. Now I don't want you to look like you're a bird flapping <laughs> its wings. I actually want to see you squeezing. Squeeze, slow it down if you have to. Good. That's it. Lift up, squeeze those muscles. So you're squeezing the middle of your shoulder on those posture muscles. Can you feel a bit of a fatigue coming in? Yeah, I do. Leg kick outs are next with a chest press. So we kick that leg forward. We did some in the warm up, so our hamstrings are nice and warm. So kick out, kick, get the legs down first. Down here is perfect. Bring it up higher if you can. Chest press, push out. It's good. And push and push. Good work. Push and push. That's it. Push away. That's it. Good work. Now you're feeling those shoulders working, yeah, and your chest. Go a little higher if you like now with those legs. There's only a few seconds to go now, not long. Feel those hamstrings working behind you. That's it, good. You can speed up if you want to. Okay, now let's do some pendulums. Okay, when you're ready, this is a pendulum to show you. That's it, just like on a clock. Now I'm going to add arms. Okay, if your arms are fatigued, you can leave them out. I'm going to do some bent arm raises. Good. So again, I've got high elbows. I'm pouring my water out. The big jugs. Good work. That's 
Passage and lift and lift. Good work. Are you getting your heart rate up there a little bit? You can lift that leg a little higher. Now I do know this will my challenge the balance an awful lot. And if it does, again, leaving the arms out will help holding on to a chair. Put the chair in front of you. That will really help you. That's it. Good. Squeezing. Squeezing. Keep the moves big. Nice big range of movement. Good work. Okay. Now we're going to do um, a, side, a side step here like this. That's it. Get the feet down first. And you can bring up a little bit of speed into it if you like you not even a little hop in the middle if you want to if you want to bring up slight bit of impact not much though and then chest press you might have to slow it down though if you want to bring in a chest press good push away now keep your chest high okay you shouldn't be looking at the floor that's it push and push push and push push and push pull back now push forward pull back so when you push forward you work the chest when you pull back you work the upper back again that's it good nearly there hang in good work okay now we're going to do sidestep again this time that we're going to do shoulders that's it if you want to you can Add that little hop for the first 20, 30 seconds. Hop from foot to foot. If you want to keep it low impact, you can leave out the hop. That's it. Good. You can speed up though if you want to. That's it. Now I'm going to start adding in some shoulders here. Reach up. Reach and reach. Good. Really pull down now, pull down, contract your shoulders. That's it, we're nearly there. Come on, not long to go now, about 10 seconds. Stay with it, tap out that floor. Go a bit faster if you want to, slow it down if you have to. Good work, okay. Now do you remember those jumpy knee raises we did a few t workouts ago? So you don't have to do them first of all. You can just leave it low impact and lift that knee up. You can bring the knee this high if you want, okay, or down lower. Now, if you want to kind of lift that head up to the ceiling, you're still keeping it low impact, but you're just adding a little bit more of a dynamic move to it, or you can lift your foot up off the floor if you're feeling full of beans today. That's it, good. And lift, and lift, good. You can move off the spot, have some fun with it. That's it. It's a nice uh, jumpy type move that gets your endorphins flowing out. You have less than 10 seconds. And then we go into two pendulums. We've done pendulums, so you know those two side lunges, okay? So two pendulums, two side lunges. Okay, let's get going. One, two, one, two, and again. One, two, and one, two. Oh, that last move really brought my heart rate up. One, two, side, side. One, two, side, side. Good. And one, two, let's get your brain thinking. One, two, and side, and side. Good. One, two, you're feeling your glutes, those outer butt cheeks are <laughs> working. One, two, and then your inner thighs. Yeah, so we're hitting all areas there with this, this move here. I like this one. Good work. Now, if you need a break, take it. I'm going back to my step backs. Okay, number one. And sweeping those arms bring them right up over your head if you really want to work hard that's it good step the feet behind you that's it good work 
watch that you don't have any dumbbells lying on the floor because I tell you you give yourself a nasty fright when you trip over dumbbells I've done it a few times good pull down pull down you can put a dumbbell in your hand here if you want to and increase that intensity of the exercise you don't have to jump to increase your intensity just add a small bit of weight go faster increase the reps they're all good ways of increasing your intensity if you feel like you can do that some days you feel more energized than others good now remember those forward lunges I'm going to start on the left leg this time okay so forward and back forward and back great exercise if you like walking it really strengthens those legs and your bum muscles which are the, the big prime movers for walking let's get some shoulders now now if you can go down deeper go for it that's it sticking to one leg we'll change legs now in a second down good reach up pull down reach up you might find your form is better round two this is why i like repeating rounds even though i like the no repeat workouts they're good mentally <laughs> these ones are good i feel a little bit more comfortable round two now i've done it all in round one and i know what's coming up now that's it and my nervous system sort of is in tune as well okay all right you ready for the other leg you work one side and work the other little step forward hold furniture if you have to even here is fine you're moving that's it make it a bit deeper if you can and we'll add shoulders and down up and down deeper if you can now if you're very flexible and you can get your knee down to the floor don't bump your knee okay be careful of that we've got our step backs coming back now with our back flies so we're getting some posture exercises going as well as keeping our cardio going so you're kind of getting it all in one here if your time is short to exercise you should try and get as much as you can into that time that's it good remember your back your step backs step back behind you okay and you might be able to go a little faster now that you're warmer this round and fly 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 that's it good now when I say fly <laughs> I want you to fly but I want you to squeeze squeeze that's it so you're engaging the muscles you're making that mind muscle connection mind to muscle that's it good now breathe for me that's it don't hold your breath get the air in We've a little bit to go yet good nice tall spine we've got leg kick outs coming after this one with chest press got a bit of chest work coming up the next few moves that's good nearly there now i'm feeling those shoulders <laughs> okay Whew. you're ready now you might be able to kick a bit higher here now if you can let go keep that a go as well that's it good kick and kick kick and kick let's work the chest pull back forward and pull that's it kick abs tight don't lean back kick if you kick high if you find kicking high is making you do this kick down lower because you don't want to soar back i want you to come back and work out again tomorrow that's it good and kick. if you're ever sore after work with guys one of the best things you can do is actually exercise it does flush it out of your body it flushes out um helps those little muscles flushes out well the lactic acid doesn't stay in your system for too long your body clears it out pretty quickly those little sores you feel are like little microscopic tears in your muscle they do need time to heal but sometimes uh, let's just see where we're at pendulums like a clock sometimes uh, your exercise takes that discomfort away now arms you can mix and match the arms we're alternating here that's it can you reach high you can bring in 
a higher arms as well that'll increase your heart rate for you once those arms go up behind the chest height you're going to start feeling your heart rate go up and you're going to start feeling breathless good that's good you're increasing that vo2 max i spoke about there a while about a while ago that's just the maximum amount of oxygen you can take in while you're exercising the more you can take in the longer you're going to last <laughs> that's it good we've our side step uh, side steps next with the chest press again so that's it now i just need to rest my oh hip area there for a second now more hip that's it good side step now chest press good work you can go up a little higher if you want to just ear level pull back now make sure you're pulling back that you're not just throwing back pull back so imagine you're opening a really heavy door there good step it to the side speed up now if you want to bring up the intensity again good and pull and pull well done good that's it you feel those back muscles working at the in between your shoulder blades you should feel some action going on there a little bit faster with those legs don't worry if you feel like this is too fast for you just go at your own pace okay rest those arms now we're going back to side step let's start on the left this time just so that we're not always leading on one side that's it good now if you want to rest out just for a little bit like we did round one you feel like yeah i'm feeling i'm really getting into this now jump it side to side if you don't want to jump of course step that's it you can maybe be able to bend the knees a little bit deeper and go a little bit faster good keep into the impact down though now i think we've less than 30 seconds so i'm going to bring in my shoulders now that's it good and again even at speed control the move that's it control it pull right down to your waist good jumpy knee raises next well done keep going come on okay just a little transition there all right now out wide bring it out wide yeah open up the hips again there if you have a habit of crossing your legs when you sit down try and uh, do exercises which are in the opposite direction to crossing your legs so wide hips now again i'm actually taking that up into a bit of an impact you don't have to do that you can stay with that foot planted on the floor and just raise your head right up to the ceiling you can move off the spot work the room even if you're only working out on an exercise mat space work that space that's it good now remember your last move it's combination move it was two pendulum two side lunge okay we're gonna start on the left this time good okay now remember left get left into your head okay so one two and one it's harder you don't dominate on that side it's harder good one two this move i have to slow down a little bit you don't want to be snapping or pulling anything in your groin good one and two you might be able to get down a bit deeper i'm feeling really warm now one and two and over and over so we've made the last move in our workout nice quick 20 minutes plus i'm not sure around a four minute i always underestimate the warm-ups i think it was around four or five minutes could be longer that's it one two just there now and there you go give yourselves a big clap well done great job great job feeling good after that now all right let's keep moving though just for 60 seconds or so we'll stretch it out then that's a good workout 
and as always if you see me here doing a body weight and you have a pair of dumbbells lying around just whatever way you're feeling pick them up you get that little bit more intensity going into the workout good we we'll go a little slower now just to gradually bring that heart rate down a few slow circles behind your head there behind your back yeah again small circles if you don't have the shoulder flexibility good and around and around keep breathing now nice big breaths just to bring your heart rate down for you good two and one now let's go out into a side lunge okay and I want you to stretch your arm over now if this is too much for you just go out into a side lunge and see if you can stretch put your arm somewhere that's comfortable for you I know over the head's a bit awkward okay but somewhere that works for you it might be across your body it might be down across your your ribcage I'm gonna just try and go over the head that's it now don't forget the lunge yeah feet facing to the front good keep your spine straight abs in tight back up to the middle and try the other side bend your knee over good straighten that other leg reach out. It's a lovely lovely stretch point those fingers away good abs in keep breathing your heart rate will still be falling so keep breathing keep the blood oxygenated up we come walk your feet in reach up to the ceiling interlace those fingers now really stretch right up to the ceiling get a lovely stretch for your tummy muscles if you like to sleep in the fetal position which I know I do you're kind of really crunching up your abs the whole night so it's lovely to get out of bed and just stretch out those tummy muscles I'm going to widen the legs a little bit here and bend to the side now I'm going to let go of my hands grasp my wrist gently don't be yanking and pulling on it it's just a small little pull of the wrist bend to one side again your head is relaxed in the middle of your arms there and you feel a lovely stretch from your shoulder your armpit there heading down to your hips good pull your tummy muscles in back to the middle again before you start bending and twisting the spine pull your tummy muscles in and you can gently grasp the wrist so you're not pulling and pulling on your wrist it's just a gentle little tug that allows for this increased stretch here in your trunk relax your neck keep that breathing going good can you bend a little deeper if you feel pain in your spine or your back come back up straight okay that's it now let's reach side to side can you straighten your arms this is probably where you need a mirror good over and over are you lopsided there that's it over His tummy muscles are tight push over now you should feel feel like a contraction in your around that belly button area Okay, don't do this unless you've contracted your tummy muscles good keep your hips square and facing the front okay so always think of your hips like headlights on a car they must face to the front particularly with these spine stretches good well done two more and last one now let's uh, stretch out the calves so again I always like to stretch out the calves if you've done any sort of type of cardio exercise and I think you should stretch out your calves on a regular basis so press the foot into the floor now feet face into the front feel the tension building up there in the belly of the muscle okay push forward a little bit more good well done now I'm feeling the tension starting to wear off me now it's becoming less uncomfortable as I go through the stretch so therefore I can go a little further and bring just bring my trunk further into space not bending at the waist I'm not doing that I'm keeping my chest open by having my hands on my hips head held high and I can increase my stretch there now you can see why you need to hold your stretches for at least 30 seconds it's going to take time for that to happen 
Okay, up to a minute. If I had the time, I'd stay here and do it. Okay, I always feel like my feet look crooked when I'm doing this stretch. All right, press forward, have a look down. They look straight when I look down, but when I look in the camera monitor, the back one always looks like it's rotated. But anyway, facing 12 o'clock. <laughs> Hands on the hips, open the chest, press forward. Belly button in for me. That's it, good. Use those uh, TA muscles in your tummy, like a corset, your TA is your transversus abdominis. Big fancy name for that muscle that looks like a belt that goes around your waist area, just under your belly button, or around your belly button area. Very important muscle, it's the one you feel when you cough. So when you feel yourself, if you're coughing, that's your TA, your transversus abdominis. It keeps all the organs in place. It's a really important muscle to train, and you can train it by just bringing your tummy, your belly button towards your spine. You can do it. You don't have to be exercising to do it. Okay, and up we come. Now let's stretch out those inner thighs. I always like to stretch out my inner thighs. So rest your hands on your leg, chest up high. Good. If you can, you can go down to the floor and you can go into like a Cossack type squat. This is quite advanced where you lift, you can lift your toe. I know some people can keep their, their foot, their full foot on the ground. They're very flexible. If that's too much, just come back to the beginning. Okay, again, I'm just showing you options. Come back, come over to the middle, always center up and either come up here, look up, chest high. Hold on to a chair. You can actually put a chair in front of you here or a coffee table and give yourself some support. Now, if you are one of these people that can go that little bit further, go into the Cossack squat. Good. Feel that lovely stretch in the inside of your leg. Good work. Again, you should be really holding it for up to 30 seconds, but time is not on my side as usual, I'm rushing through them. the workouts. Good work. And I want to say a big thank you for joining me today. You did a wonderful job, so a big pat on the back. I'll see you back here for another workout really, really soon. Bye-bye.